Bassmaster, it was an accident, all right? It was an accident. It was just, you know, chat, chat was rolling, and then it just, it happened. It, I didn't, it was not intentional. The timeout was not intentional. It ain't coming out. Come on now. Oh, John's in San Antonio. I don't even think that he's here. I don't even, I don't even know what's happening right now. What is up, guys? Welcome to the Wednesday Night Live. And, uh, you know, I was talking with a couple people about this title. And, well, you know, it might seem a little clickbaity. It is not clickbait. And I'm not talking about snagging in bass fishing. I am not talking about that. We're not talking about that. I'm not going to talk about Mike Long. If that's, I think that's his name. I don't believe in that. I do not believe in snagging bass. I do not believe in that. So, Bassmaster, when you're talking about no sport and snagging, and most of the fish die from that, I've seen that happen. But that is not the kind of snagging that I want to talk about tonight. I want to talk about snagging spoonbill, snagging carp. I want to talk about the actual sport of snagging. And I do believe it is a sport, 100%. It is an absolute workout. Now, I've never done it from a boat, but we're talking like, I mean, what was it today? Someone was like a uh, 130. Let me see really quick. Let me look it up. Hang on. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. 133.6 pound spoonbill snagged today at Keystone. Get out of town. Get out of town, okay? That would have been the new state record, but they released it back and kept on snagging because that is what I want to talk about tonight because, well, there's a point to this. There's a point. So let's get caught up. Fishing with Smokey, what's up? Hampton, how you doing, dude? Yeah, I'm catching a new PB this year for sure. Frank, what's up, man? Clint, how you doing? Little Big Earl, what is up? Hey, Cody. Hey, Cody, we're talking about snagging. Cody knows about snagging. Mr. Packard, Corey Fishes, Ohio. What's up, dude? Oh, big, big Nate's here. Rip and rip it. I figured this might bring you guys on. Rip and rip it. I figured this might bring you guys on. That's good to see. That is good to see. Turtle Maniac, what is up? Brandon, what fish hunter under 200 bucks with GPS do you suggest for a new Jackson Liska? Oh, you got a Liska? That is nice, dude. That is nice. Um, from what I've read and from the research I've done, I would say the Garmin Striker 4 Plus. Those are under 200 bucks. Yeah, like the 4 Plus. That's a good one to go with. That's That's what I've heard. Old Griffin Ribbit says, ditch pickles are overrated. I disagree with you 100%, my friend. I disagree. I kindly disagree because I know you love bass fishing. I know you do. I know sna I know trout is number one for old Big Nick, old Grip It and Rip It. Trout is number one. Snagging's a close, snagging's a close second. But let's, uh, first off, I got I to gotta unbox this uh, monster bass box here. So due to uh, shipping difficulties, technical difficulties, um, yeah, see, Clint's got the Striker 4 Plus on his Bonafide. Loves it. Nice. Awesome. I'd love to have a Liska. I would love that. Due to shipping difficulties, this is my February box, and I understand it is March now. It's March. But I want to just open this up really quick because we all know it came in there. At least most of us know what came in there. It's a Jason Christie box. Okay. We got Cotton Cordell crankbait. We got a Booyah hard knocker right there. Hard knocker lipless crankbait right there. I'm just going to toss those on the ground. Monster Bass sticker. Got a Booyah spinnerbait. Oh, Jason Christie picked all this stuff out apparently. We got a uh, Hedden Spook Jr. in Bone White. Later, Big Nick. See you later, dude. Hunting beats them all. Yeah. Whatever, dude. River, what is up, bro? Got the Smithwick floating crankbait. And then, 
Oh, oh my gosh. They're not sample packs. We got a full pack of young Christy Critter right here, Christy Crawl. They're not sample packs. It's a full pack. Oh my gosh. A full pack of young dingers. Y'all know who I'm talking about? You want to sit there and say that you're not about drama, bro, but you want to go and sit there and say, oh, sample packs in a mystery tackle box. Come on, dude. You say you're not about drama, don't be about that drama. I hope he watches this. Y'all know who I'm talking about? I hope you saw it. Full packs in a monster bass box. You know why we complain about sample packs in a mystery tackle box? Because they want to sit there and say that a sample pack is worth six bucks. That's why. I hope he watches this. Ooh, I hope you watch it. Message me. At me, bro. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh. Corey Fishes Ohio. Bro, I agree with you. I was I was one of the ones that was not too thrilled with it. But when we're coming away from a Strike King takeover, that's hard to beat. It is definitely, definitely hard to beat. Casual, what's up? Yeah, dude. Good. Casual is having some issues with the uh, notifications. He turned the bell off, turned it back on. If you guys are having issues, turn the bell off, turn the bell back on. What is up, White Whale? Clint. Yeah, dude, I, I'm ready for the regions. Ready for the region boxes to come back. Yep. Brandon, grew up hunting, but fishing takes the cake. Bro, I love fishing. I do love hunting too, but I'm, I mean, I can fish year round. I think that's what it is for me. I can fish year round. Uh, let's see here. NTF gave the head and spook to the fishing buddy because it's nice, dude. Good for you. Uh, but oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. Who's this? Who's the crybaby? Anyone wanna? Anyone wanna talk about that? Anyone know who I'm talking about? Opening something up. Big channel, big guy. Might be watching right now. Who knows? I know sometimes he's creeping. He never says anything. But uh, did an unboxing. Wanted to make fun of us for being upset about sample packs and i think that's bs because he wants to say that he's not about drama i will not name his name he knows who he is so here we are full packs i got that rant off my chest i feel better 27 of you in here seven thumbs up guys do me a favor i hate asking for this i hate asking for this but hit the thumbs up for me it does help get this channel out there even more so people can see it on the discovery page fish will smoke you that's why monster bass is the best that's a fact Corey fishes ohio says because mystery tackle box is <laughs> about profit not about the fishing community facts i mean they do have some good stuff they do have some good stuff what's up dominic how you doing dude uh i know white well that's what i'm saying dude that's what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not trying to name his name, but I had to get it out there. I had to say. I had to say what I had to say. Start throwing six inch sw soft swim baits tomorrow, dude. The water's warming up here too. I will. I'm jacked. I actually went out to a pond yesterday and did good. I mean, like it was like a dink fest, but I caught six. I get back home, take the GoPro off. Pull it out, put the footage on, and it only caught an hour out of two hours. And so I was pretty bummed out. So I went back there today and got revenge and got some footage. So I got some pond footage coming up. I'm pretty freaking happy. No, it was not Lojo. I will say that. It was not Lojo. Let's see here. What's up, man child? It's all good. Sheep stuck in the fence. Bro, take care of your sheep. Be a shepherd, bro. Sheep dog. All the way. All the way. Okay, let me see here. Let me see. Jeremy, what's up, dude? Hell, those sample packs. I got three in my MTB. <laughs> Hampton, appreciate that, dude. Dominic, I am good, man. I am good. Full packs. That's not, that's lucky and no mystery about it. That's a fact, Frank. Southern Casting, favorite reel. Ooh, that's a tough one, man. I've got, uh, I'd say top three would be my SLX DC and uh, my Concept Z and then my Okuma Komodo. I don't have a I don't have a favorite man. I, I like all of those. The SLX DC has been treating me extremely well. Uh, the Concept Z I've had it probably the longest out of all of them. It's great, and then the Okuma Komodo SS is my swim bait reel, and I freaking love it. Um, 
Yeah. Okay. Hannah. Dude, I, I wish I could go to the classic. I really wish I could. I really – Hannah knows who I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. All right, let me try and catch up here. Um, Dominic Troy for pre-spawn, bro. You are correct. Cody, what's up, dude? You No, wait. That's not funny. Yeah, thank you, Fish and Smokey. Damn GoPro. Um, White Whale's going to – are you throwing the – dude, I, on my 6-inch Rising Sun, I got a 10 up. I do have a 10 up. We used to – I put the 8 out on the 5-inch five, the five inch wide world. That's what I do. Uh, uh, you, you do. You do. You do. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding on the sheep. <laughs> Man. Dude, Sheepdog Fishing Network is awesome. TJ gets on here every now and then. Oh, Man. Yeah, the Royal Legend 2, good cheap reel. Royal Legend was one of my really good ones. Really, really good ones. Oh, Big Nick's back. He's currently acting like a little bee about me, not calling him like. <laughs> Hope he's coming to the classic. Yeah, the guy that we're talking about. Corey, what's up, man? Big John's been on that grind for a week in Texas. Calvin, what is up, dude? How are you? So far to get everyone up to speed. I know some of you guys are a little bit late. Uh, can we talk about staying and grinding it out? Yeah, Cody, we can definitely talk about staying and grinding it out. We can definitely talk about that. Um, we did a Monster Bass unboxing for February. It was a little, a little late because it's March, you know, but we just talked about What's up, Mike? How you doing, dude? Um, Black Bass, what is up? Calvin got skunked today. That sucks. Oki is in San Antonio. And he doesn't even want to, like, take the time to hop on right now. He's probably at a dinner. He's probably at some business dinner doing something fancy. I don't know. He goes out of town and does fancy stuff. He was, like, at, like, a dueling piano bar the other night. I don't even know what that is. Dueling pianos? Like, it's, like, two people dressed up as pianos, like, fighting or, like, fencing, you know, like, dueling. Aaron, what's up? Rip it and rip it. Yeah, you caught back up pretty much, man. I just had to get some stuff off my chest about a YouTuber, you know, making fun of people saying they don't like sample packs, but you know, yeah, whatever. Fishing what's up with Alex. What is up is what I'm trying to say. All right. Southern cast and killing the crappie lately. Nice dude. Love me some crappie. No coast angling. What is up? Yeah. Yeah. Big Nick. He's, he's a Susie for sure. He's a Susie for sure. He goes and tries and uh, discourage other YouTubers out there. I think he's just a little insecure, honestly. I think he's a little insecure. And the guy wants to sit there and say, like, oh, I can't fish right now because it's too cold. Motherfucker. Get out there and fish. Just because you can't be on your boat doesn't mean you can't fish. I'm done. I'm done talking about it. I'm done talking about it. I'm done. Done. Yeah, 13. I do have a new 13 reel, and I'm undecided about it. I'm undecided. I got a new 13 reel. It is a Concept A3. It's I'm still on the fence, mainly because I have not caught a fish on it yet. It's my new swim bait reel. I'm on the fence. I don't know yet. It's like, I wouldn't even say oversized. It's just a bigger Concept Z is how it feels and how it casts, which is great. But, again, I haven't caught a good with it, so. Fishing with Alex as I fish all winter. That's right. Bob Pants, what's up, man? Put on a jacket. <laughs> no, man. PlayStation fisherman talk. <laughs> it's too cold. <laughs> oh. Who else has not thrown any line this year? Whoa, Aaron, come on, man. Now, I understand. I understand some guys up north, there is no... It can't happen. I understand. But this guy does not live up north. This guy does not have – I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Hannah knows who I'm talking about. You want to ask, you know, go ask 706. Go ask 706. She'll tell you who I'm talking about. I will not name him. I'm trying to stick with, you know, not giving the haters a platform. He's got a big enough platform. So, I mean, what, like 50-some 50, 50 thousand subs or something like that? I don't know. 
Jeremy, fish in the rain, cold, heat. I got to get my therapy in. That's a fact, dude. That's a fact. Janie said I'm a ditch pickle chasing Susie. Janie, if that's true, you can text me that. Okay? Text me. Tell me to my face. Tell me to my phone face. Ryan Nelson, what's up, man? How you doing? Oh, let's see here. Not envious of frozen water. I believe you. I believe you. Got sunburn last weekend. Could get frostbite today. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like that sounds like here, man. Oh, what do you say? You said something about liking ditch pickles. I saw it, man, child. I fish all year round. I will 100% fish all year round. Janie, I'm very hurt now. I'm very hurt. I'm I'm not gonna be able to sign off on any dates with my wife anymore. You get to see her only at work, and that's it. That is it. <laughs> okay. So, snagging. Some people, what did I do with that? Oh, man, what did I do? Okay, there it is. I want to talk about snagging. I want to talk about fishing. And the reason I want to talk about it, what was my first fish of the year? Um, <laughs> yes, I can break up your love, 100%. I'm going to go in there and tell her, Okay. First fish of the year would have been crappie. Crappie? Yeah, might have been a crappie. I can't remember if that was in January or December. I don't know. That or it was a bass. Who knows? Southern casting. Dude, you can catch a new PB this year. It just takes the grind, man. You got to grind. Got to grind, got to grind. Dude, all I found were dinks today, too. Tim's always fishing. What's up, dude? Welcome in. Yeah, I found a whole lot of dinks. A whole lot of dinks today. But it's a little pond that used to hold some monsters, and I am betting the monsters are still in there. I, I think they are. I had something completely snap my line today, just pop, clean pop. I think it was a big old flathead, in all honesty. But, uh... Fish and Films, what is up? When, what year did I start my channel? Last year. Last year. Coming up on a year. Almost on a year now. No. Black Bass, I am not talking about Mike Long. At, not at all. Not at all. Nope. I will not talk about that. I'm not talking about snagging bass. I'm not talking about cheating. I'm not talking about anything like that. Um, you know, there's a big cheating scandal in the kayak fishing tournament right now. You know, like uh, what the Hobie, the Hobie Trail is moving to catch boards only. I'm not talking about any of that. So, no, I'm talking about snagging spoonbill. I'm talking about snagging carp. I'm talking about how snagging is a part of the culture here. I don't know about anywhere else, but it's part of our culture here. It is what we do. I want to talk about the ins and outs of the snagging. Pig Patrol. What about Pig Patrol? What about it? No. No, official with Alex. No, definitely not. Definitely not. I'm not talking about Mike Long, anything like that. I got 38 of you in here. We got 19 thumbs up. Spoonbill or Paddlefish? Yes. Paddlefish, Spoonbill, one and the same. Kind of like White Bass, Sand Bass, one and the same. So... Snagging, and I gotta thank my buddy Grip It Rip It, Big Nick, Grip and Rip It Outdoors, Big Nick, for setting me up. Snagging, a lot of y'all don't know this, but snagging is what brought me back to my love of the outdoors. That is why I have such a special place in my heart for snagging. My snagging setup I've got a 10 foot meat hunter rod, I like 10 foot. I've thrown 12 footers. I just don't feel like there's enough snap in a 12 foot. 12 foot, fun for the fight, but I don't feel like you get as far of a cast or as good of a cast. I got a 9,000 size reel on here. It's probably a little bit overkill. You can get away with a 6,000, 7,000, 9,000 might be a little bit overkill, like I said. My line that I use, and Nick's going to argue with me, and I mean, I need to switch back to braid, but right now I've got 30 pound trialing big game on there so 
when we talk about snagging, and the reason I'm talking about snagging, the reason I'm talking about snagging is I'm going to be doing more snagging videos. And I hope you guys are okay with that because I love it. And what snagging is, we go out, barbless hooks. Barbless. That's the key. Bassmaster, we were kind of talking about that, about the fish dying. Barbless hook allows you to just slide that right out, and they take right back off, and they're just fine. We prefer the 10 aught. I've got some 8 aughts. 8 aught is just not going to be enough. Enough. Nah, those might even be sixes right there. Not enough gap to hang on. The key to that barbless hook is keeping. Yeah, essentially, you're my Mr. Miyagi. Yeah, absolutely. Barbless hook, keeping the tension on the fish. That's the biggest thing. You got to keep tension on them. Spoonbill, paddlefish, whatever you want to call them, they are a fight. They are a fight. You get them in the current. Their gills come open, and it's like pulling a parachute through the water. It is a ton of fun, ton of fun. But we like four-ounce lead sinkers. So what you're doing here is you're doing essentially a drop shot knot, okay? You're tying your sinker down low, wrapping it around that hook right there to where it stays right there. Flinging it out there. Now I'm just giving you guys just a little heads up on the videos coming up. You fling it out, let it sink down. Those paddlefish, those spoonbill are going to be more towards the bottom. Carp are down there. I don't know if you guys are on my Instagram, but that buffalo carp that I snagged, that's how I caught this thing. So you're ripping it back, pulling the line in. Ripping it back, pulling the line in. It's a game of chance, in a sense. It's a game of luck, in a sense. And I say in a sense because when I was out there and I got that buffalo – and my guy, my buddies that were, you know, there that day, you know, Big Nick was there, Codemaster was there. They, uh, they ended up leaving. I don't know why, you know, probably because Cody was being a, a Nancy and didn't want to grind it out, wanted to move on. But I found the pocket they were at. I timed the drop. I timed my pullback to the drop. I did all these things. So 100% of sport. It's part of the culture here. I hope you guys are okay with these videos coming out. The fish, you keep two, you get a limit of two a year to eat, to keep, and that's it. Snag them for sport, send them right back. Kind of like the guy with the, you know, the possible new state record today. Send it right back. Said, so go, make, go make more babies. We want to catch more. That's what we like to do. Oh, let's see. Let me catch back up here. I know I missed a lot. <laughs> okay, well, what was it about pig butcher corn? I want to find out about that. I want to find out about that. Yeah, we should snag Mike Long in the ass. That's a fact, man. Um, was it, Oh, yeah, it was, it was Milliken. Milliken that was talking about snagging and how he doesn't see it as a sport. And again, Nebraska and the way that he snagged and unintentionally has snagged fish – unintentionally has snagged fish has been with barbed treble hooks so i do believe that if anything he's talking about purposely snagging fish or snagging trophy fish bass game fish with treble hooks with barbs and yeah that will tear the fish up that will 100 hurt the fish <clears throat> you don't see the thumbs up button someone show someone show john g the thumbs up button Noodling. Haven't done that yet. I have not done yet. Yeah, huge rod and reel, bro. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, okay. Mike, what is up, dude? Mike Zabriskie. Dude, I feel like I did catch a whale. I want to show you guys that buffalo that I caught. That a big old buffalo carp. Look at this. Look at that guy. Come on, catch it up there. Big old buffalo carp right there. I rolled four of them, but I'd lost all my 10 out hooks by that point. I mean, you, you lose a lot of tackle. You will lose weights. You will lose hooks. It's expensive, but it's fun. It's a blast, 
So, yeah, Frank, they're good to eat. That's a fact. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. We just got a seven or eight big spoon behind Gibson Dam. Yep. That's where I like to go. I like Gibson. I really do. Yep. Um, thing is with Gibson right now, they are not up by the wall. They're not up by the gates at all. You want to see me and Oki get kicked out of Walmart? No, not going to happen. Not going to happen. Um, Milken's a Susie too. <laughs> I was fishing a tournament. My partner caught a huge crappie on a Ned rig. Nice, dude. Heck yeah. No, I have not gone jug fishing. That's another thing. You know, noodling, jug fishing, trout line, all these things, they're a part of the culture down here. You know, you can't – I mean, you can say it's not a sport. You can 100% say it's not a sport, and I'm going to disagree with you 100%. Respectfully disagree. That's that's how it's going to be. So the guys that sit there and say that it is not a sport, I mean – I extend the invite to anybody that wants to come snag. You want to hang? You want to snag? Come on down. You will be sore for a week. I promise you that. But I love it. I absolutely love it. Man, child, I got a big buffalo a couple years ago on Chatterbait. By <laughs> nice, dude. Nice. I uh, I ended up hooking a, uh, what was that, Nick? Like probably 20, 25-pound spoonie last year. We were fishing for sand bass, hooked it on my uh, on my bass tackle, and that was a blast. That thing about spooled me. It ran all the way. I was down below Gibson, and it about ran to the gates. And uh, I just I had to fight it because I couldn't afford to lose all that line. So, huh. there's Cody right there. We're gonna make a call run. Call damn, dude. Let's go to call damn. I'm ready. Cody, you upset? Are you upset? I know you're the reason they left. I know you are. Couldn't be mad. Um, do you ever go trout fishing? Yeah. Yeah. I want to do more of it this year. 100%. Got them on a flat rock a couple hundred yards from the dam. Nice. Ned Rig is legit, Bent Rod. You are correct. Big Nick's out of here again. Um, hit a jug flying down the lake at night. Got tied up on my prop too. Dang. See that that does suck about those jug lines. I mean, you gotta be careful of them. You gotta watch out for them. <laughs> Fishing with Smokey. Dude, I mean, we're probably gonna be down at Gibson Dam this weekend. Me and John. That's the plan. Saturday or Sunday. I don't know which yet, but Saturday or Sunday we're gonna be snagging down there. So Kyle Anderson, what is up, dude? <laughs> gotta go jug fishing. Catching the shad and then catching the man monster kitties. Plus, you can. Yeah. We've come up on some jugs and I've wanted to pull them up just to see what's on there. Oh, Tackle Jug is here. Yeah, dude. I was just talking about our full packs in the Monster Bass Box, bro. I was just talking about that. How we didn't get any sample packs. How we got full packs. And how, you know, most of us that get MTB boxes are just a little upset when a sample pack. Says that it costs six dollars. That's about it. But I cried because I got a full pack. Lift the jigs, EWG Ned. Yeah, dude, those are sick. Those are absolutely sick. I got some of those sitting right over here, I believe. Which I have not been able to use them yet because I have not done any kind of Ned fishing. But if you guys are curious. About to lift the jigs, EWG. I wonder who went and told on me. Man, that is the lift the jigs, Ned EWG hook right there. Love those things. They got all kinds of colors too. All kinds of colors. Not sponsored by, not pro staff by lift the jigs. Nothing like that. Not at all. I wonder how many thumbs down I'm going to get on this video from doing that. Oh, man. Wonder who they're gonna come from. <laughs> uh, what camera did I start out filming on YouTube or filming with on YouTube? Actually, the camera that I started with was my uh, Sony A7 III because I do photography and I do videography as well. 
I've had that camera for quite a while now, and that's what I started with. And then uh, my GoPro Hero 7. That's it. So now I've got a Hero 7, i got a Hero 8, and I still have my Sony. <sighs> Later, Southern Casting. Take care, dude. I want to see someone do walleye fishing. Do uh, You know, walleye, we got saw guy. I've heard of walleye here. I have not seen any walleye. I've seen one saw guy caught. One saw guy. That's it. Oh, uh, let's see here. Order some after JC drop shot recommend. Dude, JC. Yeah, JC's a good dude. What are we saying here? My buddy got two double months in a row for Monster Bass, then top water and winter. Just saying. Was that probably when uh, it was an iCast only? I think it was iCast only. Yeah, because like the spider, there's a big explanation for that. So. Have I ever been catfish fishing? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I love catfishing. 100%. Go catfishing. Actually, I haven't done it in a while, but yeah. I mean, I when I took a break from bass fishing, I really got into catfishing, and I, I loved it. Love it. I have not done much since, and I'm looking forward to it this year. A lot of nighttime fishing, a lot of catfishing at night, a lot of bass fishing at night. That's what we're going to be doing, along with, you know, snagging coming up. So, um, about to switch. I just got the alert that my March has shipped. It will be the last on. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Jeremy. Appreciate that, man. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> okay, Bassmaster. Yeah. Oh, Big Bass Energy. I just did the uh, the February box unboxing, man. Like my shipping address was completely wrong, and I took forever to get you know in touch with support on that. So they just kicked it out to me. It was the Jason Christie box. You got a Cotton Cordell crankbait, Booyah Hard Knocker, Booyah Spinnerbait, Smithwick Jerkbait, and two full packs of uh, Yum Dingers and the Christie Craw. So, have I ever gone grouper fishing? No, I have not. I have not. Joe M, six cents seems like a good deal. I agree. 100%. The six cent super sack or the six sack, they've got, man, I hopped on their website and they've got a bunch of, uh, like, it's almost like they have their own, not, not pro bags, but influencer bags that the guys, um, who is it? Big John would know the guy down in uh, Lake Fork. I can't think of his name, but like Noah from kicking their bass. He's got his own Milliken's got his own, so they pretty much pick out their favorites and they throw them in there. I have no need for it. I've got a ton of six cents hard baits and a ton of their jigs, so I have no need for it. But if you're looking to get into six cents, it is 100% a good deal, without a doubt, no doubt. Huh? What? Do I, wait. What do I do if I got if I get both boxes? I don't know who to root for. Dude, hey, there ain't no one to root for. Listen, I will. I would still buy an MTB box, and I would compare it to a Monster Bass box. I'll do it again. I'll 100% do it again. So, I, I mean, no. You fish, and you get whoever you choose. Don't let me influence you. I'm not that kind of influencer. I won't do that. I will not do that. I'm just going to, I mean... I've been riding with Monster Bass, so I'm going to ride with Monster Bass, but I'm not going to tell you who to go with. Not at all. I don't roll that way. I don't sit there and try and influence people. Let's see here. Man, child, ready for top water, bro. I feel you. I am ready for top water as well. Corey says, I watch Milliken like anyone else. He's starting to lose me, though. Something about being or betting 10K in a video, he seemed different lately. I haven't watched much of his stuff lately. I mean, I watched. Uh, I try and stick to only his fishing stuff. I haven't watched any of the trapping stuff. I no. I just I prefer to watch fishing and only fishing, you know, and fishing all year round. Fish when you can, you know. Just because you can't get your boat on the water doesn't mean you can't go beat the banks. Go fish. Um, yeah, man, child, and I can't I can't think of his name. I cannot think of his name at all. Um. 
black bass. Love cotton cordels. Old school still works. That's a fact, man. And you know what? My father-in-law gave me... Man, my father-in-law has got so much. He's got so many of the original wiggle warts, like even in the original packaging. But he gave me a, uh, a Brad's Wiggler wiggle wart knockoff. And it's still in the packaging. I'm not even going to take it out. Old school still gets it done. 100%. Hmm. Have I had any problems with the Six Sense Divine Swim Baits? I have not tried the, the Divine Swim Baits. So I don't know. I have not because I have not tried them. <sighs> yeah, Frank got a ton of Six Sense Baits. Yeah. That's. <laughs> NTF. Hannah got you in the monster bass, huh? That's awesome, dude. Does Budweiser make a box? Because I'd buy that one. Facts, man. Absolutely. Very best lure for catching channel cats is a very loud craw crankbait. 20 catfish in an hour. Dang, that's awesome. That is awesome, Kyle. I've actually caught him on that uh, rage bug. Caught him on the rage bug. I think, I, I think that's what I hooked into today that just popped my line completely. So... MTBS potential will be the best, but they are not into anything other than turning profits. No research at all, says Frank Rowland. Anything to say, TJ81, if you're still on here? I don't know. Oh, what else? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I called you out for not fishing all year round, if you're still here. Let's see, Mike, I ordered a Lose Mock Crush 6, or Mock Crush, six weeks ago, and it's on back order. Have you ever used Lose Setup at all? No, I mean, I did. Lose was one of my first bait casters, and I did not like it. I did not like it at all, and it's nothing against Lose. I mean, I would go fish with Lose right now. I didn't know what I was doing. I simply did not know what I was doing. So, here I am. Not a lose hater. I think lose is great. I think lose makes some awesome stuff. I see guys fish with lose. I've seen lose take a hell of a beating and keep on going. So no, I think I think lose makes some good stuff. It's just not for me. It's not for me. I got burned when I first started, and I just I'll, I'll eventually get one. But right now, it's not. That's not it. Like the hybrid jig. You mean this this guy right here? Hybrid jig. Hybrid jig is good. It is solid. Yeah. Casual. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, is the Guggen Mystery Box any good? Mike, I have not checked it out. I've seen enough of them. I mean, it's a, what is it, a flat, the flat banger, the crack and crawl, um, the zinger, banger, I don't know. I think if you like Guggen baits, it's good. 100%. I think go for it. If you want some Guggen baits, go for it. You can get them at like Dick's now, I think. Or Academy. One or the other. Dick's or Academy. Let's see here. Lose Hank Parker casting rod is great for the money. I want one. I want them to have a uh, I want them to have a swim bait rod. That's all I want to see from Lose. Swim bait rod. I know there's a lot of swim bait rod manufacturers out there, but I would like to see something that and I mean, I've talked with Rudd about it. I'm talking like big swim baits, big glides. That's what I'd like to see. Hmm. Let's see here. Jeremy got a 17 pound cat on a red rattle trap. Dude, crawls. They go after the crawls. 100%. They go after the crawls. I think that's why. I mean, Casual caught one on his rage bug. I caught one of them on rage bug. I'm pretty sure that's what broke me off today was a rage bug. So let's see here. Okay, Bassmaster talking to River. Man, child, I got a Guggen box for Christmas. They've got some okay stuff. The crankbait is good. There you go. Of the Guggen baits I've tried, their jerk bait and plastics have been the best. The frog takes on water, and the walking bait is really hard to walk. You know, I, I think uh, – I think it was Rob that talked about their walking bait. What is it, the hound? I think it is. And it's kind of like a jerk bait. You got to walk it on slack line. You got to have slack line. You can't have top line when you're trying to walk it. Um, 
I think there's uh, quite a few. I think the spook, I found that out. The head and spook, you gotta you gotta walk that on slack line for sure. Um, I have not tried the Guggen baits other than their plastics and uh, and the banger, but their newer stuff I have not tried them, so I don't know about them. I just know what I've watched and what I've read and what I've heard. Like I said, I'm not gonna talk bad about them because they catch fish. But you know the hound, I do know that you got to walk that on slack line. That is what I heard on that one. Got the Chameleon Falcon Lake Crawl. Frank, I'm telling you, those are fire. Dude, those are absolutely fire. I love that. Falcon Lake Crawl is what got me, is what got it done for me yesterday. Um, today it was a fluke. The caffeine shad from striking that KVD caffeine shad, the fluke got it done for me today. It was a dink fest. I felt like I was fishing with Debo, and no disrespect to Debo, because he and I talk all the time. But I felt like it was a Debo dink kind of day. <laughs> but it was a blast. I, I think I caught like 10, 10 little dinks. Best one was maybe like two and a half pounds. But a lot of fun. A lot of fun. No problem, Bob. No problem at all, man. I'll oh, see you here. Yeah, man, child, that's what I'm talking about. Cats have hit the T-Rig many a time. That's how I caught it. That's how Casual caught his, too. I like the swim bait casking or the casking swim bait rod, the mag speed. Yeah. So I've got the uh, mag swim bait rod. I do have it. I got that is uh, that was my original swim bait rod is the mag swim bait. However, what I do not like about this rod, they say that it's fast action. I'm pretty sure it's more moderate fast, but it does not have the kind of backbone that I like for single hook baits, like the jig hooks. It does not have the backbone for what I'm throwing, ADOT and up, owner beast hooks, it does not have the backbone and the kind of snap that I like for those kind of rods or those kind of baits. So, however, treble baits. 100%. Glide baits, absolutely. I mean, it's rated like 2 to 8 ounces. And I think it's more moderate, more moderate fast. And the load on that is great, but it just, like I said, does not have the snap for those jig hooks. Ivan, do I want to take your yak? Absolutely, dude. I want to take your yak out. <laughs> Tried to set, wait. Set this up before, but when are you, me, and Oki going to do an okay throwdown? Dude, I'm going to do uh, – we're going to do a meetup this year, Bassmaster. We're going to do a meetup this year. I don't know where at. I don't know when, but we are going to do it. If Oki was on here, he'd say hit him up. He'll moderate it. Uh, we just got to figure out a day, a date to do it. So, yeah, fishing with Smokey. Moderate fast for sure. Dude, it just cannot do those jig hook baits, and it, it sucks. Frank says, flack line gets a better walking action. Yes. Favorite walking bait is the Sammy by Lucky Craft. I would say, I don't know if I have a favorite walking bait right now. I didn't do much of that last year. I did not do much, uh, much spook, much walking type baits, anything like that last year. I had a lot of frogs. I had a lot of poppers. I was kind of hooked on those, just stuck on them. I could not get away from them. Could not get away from them. The Tequila Sunrise Orange Flex Strike King Cutter Worm. No. Dude, that sounds good. I love those cutter worms. I've actually got some. Guys, I've got like two unboxings coming up. I hope you all aren't sick of the unboxings. I don't unbox because I can't fish. I just unbox because I'm a tackle addict and I buy more tackle. So that's why I've got some more unboxings coming up. Brett, what's up, man? Welcome in. I had a little bit of a rant earlier. And then uh, said person I was ranting about, someone ran and told him that I was saying something about him. So I had to address him. I wonder who ran and told him. Who's my little snitch in here? Who's going and talking? Who's going and telling on me? Is Sean in here? Upstate. Sean, you here? You just keeping quiet? Anyways, unboxings are great. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Headcase, what's up, dude? How you doing, man? Oh, okay, good. I'm glad that you guys are not 
bored with the unboxings. Because like I said, I got two. And they're specifically designed for pre-spawn and spawn. That's what they're for. That's what I got for. So <laughs> it's a good thing because I'm poor and I have a tackle problem. I'm poor too. I'm poor after these unboxings. 100 percent Poor after the unboxings. That sucks. I hate it. Oh man. Let's see here. Frank. Frank, Frank. Corey said, I'm all about that meetup. I'll be back in Oklahoma this month. Dude, I, I can't guarantee it's going to be this month, man. I cannot be. I cannot guarantee. I'm probably going to wait until summertime, in all honesty. Summertime when it's nice out, nice and hot, and everyone can just suck. We can all suck together in the Oklahoma heat, fishing and shooting the breeze. That's what I want to do. Oh, let's see here. All the unboxing makes you want to buy it all, dude. Um, it's bad. It's going to be bad. <laughs> Corey, strung out on Tackle Warehouse. You and me both, man. Oh, fishing makes you poor, but it's worth it. You know what I think is more expensive than fishing? Shooting. I think shooting is 100% more expensive than fishing. I went out, you know, before that coyote hunt to go over zero my rifle. And I look back at the money that I blew in a couple hours, and I was like, this is why I got away from it. I got away from it because it was way too much. It was ridiculously expensive. Um, okay. Black Bass says, try the Lose Team Custom Pro Ledge Rod or the Custom Plus for swim baits. Dude, I'm going to write that down. I'm going to take note of that. Actually, I'll be able to go back and look at this. So thank you. Mike, I do not hold back, 100%. Do not hold back. What I'm saying on here, I would say to anybody's face. That's how I am. Love me or hate me. Love me or hate me. There is in between. You can hate me sometimes. You can love me other times. But I'm not going to hold back. I'm going to be real. I'm going to keep it real 100% of the time. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Aaron, what is up, dude? I subscribe because of the unboxing. <laughs> Decide not to go with subscription boxes. Dude, and you know what? I think that that is 100% 100% true. I think the subscription boxes, I mean, they are fun to get. They're fun to get, and a lot of the time, the purpose of the subscription box is to hopefully put a bait into someone's hand that has not used it before. Now, I'm not going to get into the whole thing that I already talked about, but that's what a subscription box is about. You know, like the December box, the ICAST only box from Monster Bass. It was to put out stuff that was hard to get a hold of, that, you know, was ICAST awards, and that's why that came out. And it was to put those in your hand that you may not be able to get because there are some places in, where you get where you don't have tackle shops. You don't have an academy. You don't have a Dix. You don't have anything like that. So it makes it easy to get something. So say you get, I don't know, say you get a Booyah Hard Knocker. You've never been to Lipless Crankbaits like this guy. And you get a Booyah Hard Knocker and you love it. It doesn't mean that you have to continue to buy that subscription box. You can go to Academy, you can go to Dick's, you can go to Tackle Warehouse, buy as many Booyah Hard Knockers as you want. That's the point of a subscription box. It is not to take care of your tackle needs every month. It's to put something different into your hands or just... I don't know, give you a resupply. Something. Who doesn't who doesn't love a yum dinger? Oh, okay. Kyle, let's see here. What are my thoughts on tactical bass? And those dudes are wizards. I think they're wizards. I think they're great. I've learned so much from them, and I've taken a lot of the stuff they even talk about and I kind of tweak it to my own. So I think Tactical Bassin is on point. I think those guys are fantastic. Now, when it comes to tactics as far as like how fish act and everything like that, I know they've been around the United States, but I know a lot of the time they're talking about they're in California. I know that you can take a lot of it and put it to use yourself, but you got to figure it out for yourself. But as far as tackle tips and you know how to rig something or how to use something, those guys are phenomenal. I, I love watching those guys. I learn a lot just about every time. 
just about every time. Oh, there was a Walmart video today. Oh, Lord. No. If we're talking about another guy with a beard, scraggly beard. Ugh. No, I'm not watching him. I do not watch him. Two hooks in the house. Kevin. Kevin, what's up, dude? Guys, everyone tell Kevin thank you because Kevin is a guy that came up with the Oklahoma's War Sangler logo. Kevin is a guy. Favorite popper. Um, my favorite popper last year was the Mad Max, and I got it from Monster Bass. But, I mean, I put those Ozark Trail poppers through the ringer. The Walmart brand poppers, I put them through the ringer. And, I mean, if you're talking like they're getting a lot of – a lot of work or like getting a lot of bites and a lot of hits, you can't beat that price for an Ozark Trail popper. You can't beat the price, especially if you're going through them a lot. I mean, I think that's, I think they're awesome. However, I've got a Mega Bass popper that I'm ready to use. Um, I don't even know where it's at right now. I, I don't know. I don't know where any of my tackle is. I went fishing last, no, yesterday, today. My tackle's all over the place. So, John G, 53 fish on the Yum Dinger last year. That's what I'm talking about. And aren't you glad that you got a full pack of Yum Dingers, John? Aren't you glad? You didn't get a sample pack? Didn't get a half pack? Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't Rick talking about selling base at 30% off eventually the other day? Oh, I don't know, NTF. I If he was doing that on the live stream, I don't know. I don't always hop on those Instagram live streams. I, I have no idea. No idea at all. Or whatever they call it, the shad color one. That one was amazing. But, you know, I, I would say my favorite frog, if we're going to be talking about frogs for a second, my favorite frog will be a scum frog. They're ugly as sin, but they hook up. They hook up and they work. So, super soft body, super sharp hooks, scum frog. Those, I mean, I, I love those frogs. Love those frogs. But when it comes to like walking them, I'm talking the scum frog popper. But if we're talking about like walking frogs, nah, I'm not going to go scum frog. But if I'm talking like popping, I love the scum frog poppers. I think they're great. Oh, let's see here. Um, Aaron, I live in California also. We have picky bass here. Heavily pressured. Dude, I, yeah, I, I see that. If Tactical tells you it works here, it will work anywhere. Trophy bass in our lakes are 15, 20 plus. <laughs> cool. Dude, Aaron, oh, making us jealous down here, dude. We got some double digits. We got plenty of double digits in Oklahoma. Plenty of them. I'm telling you. They're, they're here. Anybody from Oklahoma still watching? They are here, 100%. Double digits are here. Um, Jeremy, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Uh, Bob Pants, Rebel Pop. Yes. that Dude, the Rebel Pop, that was uh, – I caught some really good fish on that one last year. Really good fish on that one. Bob Pants said, the best part about Monster Bass is how involved they are in the community. Rick has commented on my videos and posts on my DQ channel. I think it's really cool. Yep, Rick is a good dude. Very good dude. Someone said to put weights inside of a frog. I have no luck with frogs. Mike, I mean, ugh. frogs are tough, man. The frog bite is extremely tough. You got to get the timing right. You got to, like, you want to set the hook right away. And it's hard for me, like, frog fishing and going back to, oh, I don't know, like a crankbait, something like that. Because when I get into frog fishing, I sit there and wait. After they take that, I wait for almost a full second before I send that hook. And it's tough because when I would go back to fishing regular, I, I missed so many fish because I was still in that frog mindset. Yeah, six cents has got a popping frog coming out. They got a walking frog too, man, child. I've seen that. Um, yeah, Milliken was down there at Lake Fork, and they were testing that frog out. That frog looked good. I mean, hell, you can make a frog look good, but I'm telling you, you want a good popping frog? Go get you a scum frog. Go buy those little ugly, ugly little scum frogs, and just pop them around and just wait and see what happens. I think they're, I think they're fantastic. Have I ever tried fly tying? No, I have not. I don't have the dexterity. I, I don't. I do not have the dexterity for that. So 
have not. Dad has caught big bass in Fort Gibson. Yeah, Fort Gibson's got big bass. Keystone's got big bass. Grand has got big bass. But there's big bass in little lakes around here too. Very little lakes. I've been fortunate enough to see a lot of those big bass in these little lakes. Okmogi, Dripping Springs, monsters, monsters in there, 100%. Let's see here. Okay, NTF is talking to Mike. I pulled a frog out of a lot of fish's mouth by not waiting long enough. Yeah, fishing with Smoky. Yeah. You know, and what it was for me too is I would hook set to the side because I was so used to just side hook sets. And you'll rip it right out of the side of their mouth. You gotta, you gotta like train yourself to go up and back to drive those hooks up. That's that's the other thing about frog fishing that's a little tough. Um. Okay. Yeah, man, child. Exactly. Count one, two, three, real fast, and chuck jack that jaw. Heck yeah. Uh, worse is when you pay 15 for a frog and the bottom is solid black. I don't know, man. I don't know. Solid black is good. Black's good at night. That's the thing. I mean, but yeah, talking about paying 15 bucks for a frog because of the paint job on it or whatever it may be. That's why I'm saying, like, if you're not comfortable with frogs, start with a scum frog. Like I said, they're ugly. But they're inexpensive and they hook up, 100%. Kyle said, my brother caught a six and a half pound bass in a small pond. Dude, that's bigger than my PB. I would love to catch a six and a half pound bass. What's up, 570? How you doing, man? Break out the hula popper, he says. Do I like wacky rig fishing? Yes, I do. I love to fish wacky rigs. Um, I got a couple of videos. I pulled a, I pulled a couple of four and a halves on wacky rigs. I really do like it. I'm getting ready for uh, some wacky rigs for the spawn. I think that's going to come in very, very handy. Have I tested the, B the BD soft poppers yet? No, I have not, River. I have not. I am ready to, but the top water bite is not on here yet. So I've got them just sitting over there like I've got with so much other tackle because I just buy tackle and I don't know what I'm doing, and then it just sits here. And then I look at it and I'm like, oh, I should use that. And then I go fishing and I forget all about it. So, um, have you seen the new PBS or DPS MC sail flyer? No, I have not. I have not seen a fluffy guy. How you doing, dude? Come a PB on a ribbit. Yeah, exactly. Let's see. Kyle, PB is 3.2 pounds. Dude, ain't nothing to be sad about. Nothing to be sad about. If that's your personal best, that is your personal best. You caught that fish. I have been around. Chris has caught uh, five, five eight-pounders, five eight-plus pounders in front of me just this year alone. How do you think I feel? But I know what my best is and what I've done to catch my best, and I'm proud of that. I am proud of that. Exactly. Over a lot, dude. And I, I found that uh, with those rage toads too. And you can get those dual hooks. You hop on talk tackle warehouse. You can get the hooks that you can put in those soft body frogs. You can do that. <laughs> Let's see here. Head case. Scum frog is the only frog I've hooked up with, dude. I'm telling you, scum frog is where it's at. They are extremely underrated just because they're ugly. Trilene, 100% fluoro is on sale. Bogo, ooh, dang. I mean, I might. I like that P-line. I'm, I'm so hooked on that P-line right now, but, I mean, I do need some new lines. So, for that price, I might have to go try it out. I might have to do it. I really might have to do it. thought I had my PB large mouth hernia was a striper. Dude, <laughs> I want to get on some big striper. I've got plans to get on big striper. I know, I know where they're running right now. Anybody in Oklahoma, low water dam, there are striper down there. Low water dam, there are striper running. So go get after them. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I think I've ruffled enough tonight. Here I go. 
wonder how many thumbs up. Let's take a guess how many thumbs down. How many thumbs down do I have after tonight? I'm very curious. I'm going to say two or three. How many thumbs down do you think I got for calling out the man, the myth? He's just the man, the myth. How many do you think? Kyle says zero. I wish that was the case, dude. I wish that was the case. Yeah, low water dam. Striper running down there. I a buddy of mine at work. He went and caught a 15-pound uh, striper. So I have not heard a canine fishing line. No. Devil's River has striper run towards the lake. Heck yeah. Later, Jeremy. Guys, I'm out of here. I'm saying John G says two. I say two or three. I say two or three. Let's see. Let's see what we got. I got more thumbs up, though. I appreciate that, guys. So, everyone, have a good night. I hope you all get out and go fish. I'll be snagging Saturday or Sunday for Gibson. Me and Oki will be down there. We're going to get it done. We're going to do this. Take care, guys, and I will see you all later.